Hello my friends! So I am bringing you a Bath & Body Works haul. I used to do these all the time but it, it is the semi-annual sale and I still have some Christmas shopping to do even though it's past New Year's. The soaps were about $3 and I got all of this for $66 when it values at $93. So yeah, a lot of the body care was only 50% off but with my 20% mailer coupon yeah, I got about 70% off. So let's start with the hand soaps. So these are mostly for my sister and my brother-in-law. Um, that's all they really asked for. So uh, I want to get more though because I feel like this isn't enough. But they didn't have that many choices at my store. It wasn't that great of a deal. So I think I might still go online and try to get them more soaps. Also, I kind of need one for myself. So yeah, five soaps is not enough for the both of them. So I definitely have some more shopping to do for them. So this first one is Marshmallow Fireside. I've had this in the candle and a spray. And I figured I try to pick more masculine scents for them. And then Island Margarita. I've had that in multiple forms also. Watermelon Lemonade. I've had that in a hand soap before. Pink Apple Punch. That sounds really good. I actually haven't smelled this before at all, so let's do that. Ha. I thought I wanted to keep this, but it's um I don't think that's the one I'm going to keep for myself. It's very apple-ish, and I'm not a big fan of apple scents. And then Fresh Rainfall and sea salt and lime see i don't know maybe i'll just end up keeping island margarita or something so i did get a gift for my boyfriend but he doesn't know about this one so i did get something for my boyfriend that had his name all over it and i am going to show him tonight so i can show you guys so it's coffee and whiskey it's two of his favorite I don't want to say it's two of his favorite things, but he definitely likes coffee and whiskey, so I had to get that. And then I got myself three body washes. Do I need three body washes? No. Do I already have a pretty full body wash from Target? Yes. But it's like, I smelled this scent for the first time and it smelled really good. I love cotton candy. And then aromatherapy is like never on sale, so like I had to take advantage. So this should last me for the full year for sure. And I'm sure my boyfriend will help me with like these more masculine scents. It's just because it's on sale and you always need a, a spray for your car at least. Oops, sorry you guys, it's blurry. And you always need a spray for your car. So I got this. Um, I've never smelt, smelt it before, so let's try it out. It smells like a Halloween scent, which isn't bad. But um, I'm a little disappointed, but still works still gonna use it and then I got this in the body spray these are usually overpriced but at 850 who wants to spend nine dollars on like a little small thing like this but this will last you a long time like all of my full-size ones I've had forever I can't like use them up uh, but yeah it's always good to have something like travel friendly and just you know the right amount because this I could probably spray this for a year and then I still won't run out so yeah definitely a new favorite kind of scent and then the last item is a candle Oops. these aren't ever really on sale either so i had to take advantage of when i had a coupon and it was 50 percent off so yeah that is everything i bought half of it was is for gifts half of it is for me to use i guess so yeah just let me know if you have any questions on the body care because that's all i'm really keeping Now you see me. Right. Holy crap! <laughs> How do you feel? You just got your snake bites? Holy shit! Babe, it looks so good. The piercing, like it just brings it all together. Right, so starting with my favorite book of 2021 is Buy Yourself the Effing Lilies. So what I really liked about this book is that it had good advice, a lot of good reminders, but it also had some new strategies that I never heard of and found helpful. I also liked that she included things from her personal life, mostly funny. It was very relatable. So I've never read a self-development book that also talked about really personal stuff like I've read you are a badass and that's more of like 
she has some stuff in her personal life but she really goes in deep so yeah i listened to this on auto audiobook and also read along the whole thing and one thing i'm liking enjoying doing reading is i write notes on each chapter so if i'm feeling like oh i want to just read a little chapter on something i kind of have it one through five and like write little notes so it's like oh what's this book about again i can go back and reference it there is one exercise in here that i thought was really helpful if you really want to know uh ask me down below and i'll let you know because i i myself would have to look up what chapter it is and stuff but if you are curious uh i don't know honestly i should make that a youtube video but yes this was the best book i read last year because of not only the new kind of personal development but she was kind of funny she did she does read her own the author does read the audio book as well and she is a little quirky and i found like in the middle of the book i kind of found this like ugh, i don't it's kind of like getting old but then I, it got really good again all right so my second favorite book which i still need to read just kind of the the last pages it's like the end of the book but there's like an extra extra information so i'm just gonna go ahead and read that but yeah atomic habits i'm sure you've seen this one before if you're familiar with self-development books this does have good advice if you have some goals i recommend reading it i've read plenty of self-development and i found this very helpful i still listen to this on audible whenever I need background noise and I'm finding I am doing better on my goals when I'm listening to this. I did read the whole thing with audiobook but I also um, kept listening to it on Audible. I'm not supposed to buy Audible, I wish I was. I've had a membership for a couple years now so yeah it's a really good service if you want to try it out. And then next is Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins. If you're looking for some inspiration, like hardcore inspiration, like the toughest man on earth, YouTube him. Um, there's a lot of great motivational books. This book is pretty intense. There's a couple, well, yeah, there's a few gut-wrenching parts in this book. Yeah, it's it's interesting. So I, I'm not going to lie, I only read to about here. There's an old credit card information. <laughs> So I only read up to here and then I listened to the rest of, it, rest of it on audio. So when I was listening to this on audio, my self-discipline and like my mindset was more tough. So if I'm ever feeling like I'm being a weakling, I'm gonna just listen to this on Audible and I feel like it will help. So this is the only Christian book I read this year. I read like at least three that I can remember last year. This one's called Present Perfect. It's written by the pastor that I follow on YouTube. So basically this was just saying just to remember that God's with you at all times um it's a good little reminder it's a short easier read yeah it has quotes throughout it and it's basically saying like are you awake to God's presence and things like that it was all right um to be honest I can't remember much from it from basically just saying like make sure you're remembering God's presence and things like that so yeah Greg Boyd has a lot of really great really great books if you want to read some Christian books this one I also read early in the year along with the Christian book I started with smaller books um this is don't overthink it it has some questions at the end of each chapter this was okay i i i remember a few circumstances where it's basically like what well, like the most valuable lesson i got out of this one was and i think i talked about this book in a previous video so i'll link that down below like when it was more fresh but it's basically like if you want to get yourself some flowers Buy yourself some flowers if you want to do this just do it like stop thinking about it so much um, there's a few chapters in here where it's like this isn't like relatable to me at all it's so weird because i feel like my overthinking is kind of cr as crazy as it can be right now but that is also because i'm looking for a new job and i'm also finding a new place to live and i'm also going to be living with someone else and they're looking for a job so it's uh everything's just up in the air right now so i think it totally makes sense of why i've been a little more anxious and thinking about things but i have kind of made a new bedtime routine and it's actually put me to bed uh really good because i've been staying up late just thinking about things so if you want to see that bedtime routine let me know honestly if no one lets me know i'm still gonna post it but next is uh no excuses the power of self-discipline by brian tracy i have annotated this as you can see 
So when I read this book a few years ago, it changed my life. And I'm saying changed my life. This was my first introduction into self-development and it changed my life. Like I didn't even have to read the whole book. I just read mm, probably not even half of it and I changed my life. I became a trainer, I lost a ton of weight, I was super disciplined. Now you may be thinking, well, it didn't work that well if you didn't stick with the good habits um long term but that's a whole other story um this isn't a psychology trauma book it's just a good way to um kind of stop with the bs give you a little motivation and just tics and, uh tricks tips and tricks on how to be better version of yourself so yes uh, i feel like a lot of the newer self-development books that are out there got a lot of information from these from this author from the speaker so i i've read this at least two times maybe three i think i've started it before but i have read the whole thing twice um i wanted to read it every year but it's like okay i didn't i i, I i'm gonna retire this book for this year i'm not gonna try to read it again i would recommend it to someone that's new with self-development but it's like okay this didn't like help me that much then why do i need to read it again the last book is the worst book i have read I honestly just finished it just so I can like finish talking to you guys about it and I did talk about this one when it was a more fresh in my mind so you guys probably know I used to have some binge eating problems some emotional eating um, habits it's pretty good now I think I've had kind of like a lifestyle change I've talked about the stamp out method which I just need myself if you want to know about it um I'd like to make a specific video about it because it really has helped me lose finally I lost 14 pounds this year the first time I did not gain in a couple years so yeah um kind of find what works with me with therapy and reading and just you know grow my self-confidence and things like that but this book if you have a real binge problem this is probably not going to help you so if you look at the amazon reviews there are some people that say that it helped but most people are saying that it's very detrimental to their health so if you have a real binge eating disorder i don't know i thought this was so rude like who does this guy think he is like basically saying like well if you had the choice to eat the donut or not but if you chose to eat the donut your friend's gonna die you're still gonna eat the donut no you wouldn't eat the donut so just don't eat the donut ever in any circumstance that's just like that doesn't make any sense yeah and i think i saw um another author talking about how the info in this book is very like bad and yeah i would not recommend it i did read the whole thing it was yeah he kept referencing to his website i just think it was no good so those are the books I read in 2021. Well, let's take a picture. <laughs>